Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, we're looking at the Xtool S1 riser base and the RA2 Pro rotary attachment. Well, the good folks at Xtool have done it again. They have sent me out some new toys to play with. One of it being the S1's riser base, uh, which is a great little attachment for this laser. And as well, the RA2 Pro Rotary Tool, which is going to give us the ability to uh, laser cylindrical items or round items. So what we want to do, the, the S1 has actually been designated now as my in-house laser. So today I'm gonna to do an overview of the riser base and the RA2 rotary. So let's head into the house and check that out. Well, when you get the riser base for the S1, this is pretty much how it comes packaged. So let's crack this open and see what's included inside the box. So these are all the components that come in the box. We have a front panel, back panel, left and a right panel. We have a light blocking strip. We have a case for your glasses, which are a really funky shade of yellow this time. So we have glasses and a cleaning cloth, an Allen key, the instruction manual, and two bags worth of hardware. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to align all of our parts in order to start bolting this together. All of the framework here is all metal, um, so really well constructed from what I can tell. But let's get the pieces aligned so that we can start getting the assembly process started. Well, with your pieces all aligned, we can now start bolting it together. These front panels here, the front and the back, they will just align with this little bolt hole here. We can align our pieces and then use one of our four uh, M3 by six bolts and the provided Allen key. And we're just going to screw this together on all four corners. Now guys, don't tighten this up because we may need to adjust. So for now, just do it finger tight. And believe it or not, after those four bolts have been placed in, that is pretty much the assembly of the base. Uh, we're just going to close this up here. It's all magnetic closures, but they do have spring release mechanisms that you can push on the one side and it will spring it open for you in case you need to use the conveyor or you need to access the interior of the lower tray. We'll get into this a little after. So with both of these uh, now closed up and our bolts finger tight in the corner, we actually need our laser now. So let's get the S1 up here and just sit it on top of the stand for now. Well, I have the S1 sitting on top of the riser base. Nothing is tightened, nothing is finalized. It's just sitting here for now. We have six bolts three on this side and three on the other side that hold the S1's bottom tray in. And while you can't see it here on the camera, you will also be required to remove the three bolts in the front. The very first thing we want to do is remove all bolts and take our tray out. Well, we now need to bolt our S1 down to our riser base. So on the right hand side, there are three positions there for us to screw bolts down into. And we will use three of the 14 millimeter M3 bolts. On the left side of the riser base, only the back and the front one. And those ones will be 14 millimeter, but the one in the middle will be one 20 millimeter bolt. And with the S1 secured on the top of the riser base, we just want to make sure that our closures work. So we're gonna test these closures front and back. And if we're happy with the way that that opens and closes, then we can do the final tightening on the four corner bolts that holds the lower riser base together uh, with the left and the right, the front and the back panels. So test your front and back and then tighten all four bolts. Well, the last step here is to install the light blocking strips and they will get mounted on the top of both the front and the back panels. They are an adhesive strip 
Uh, guys, I would suggest using a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a rag and just cleaning this before you try to stick your strips on just to make sure there's no oils or any residue on the top of the door. So I'm going to get those installed and I'll show you what to do next. And that is essentially the installation. You just want to check on the opening and the closing of your front and rear panel. If you're not happy with the alignment, if it's either too far in or too far out, you can adjust the spring mechanisms here, these spring closures. I'm not gonna get into that part of the installation. The manual very clearly states how to do it. With the laser, the X-Tool, let's say the D1 Pro, the 20 watt, you have riser legs that allows you to change the height of the base of your laser. That way you can fit larger things in here, such as the rotary tool. But with the riser base of the S1, we have different slots and different rails, top to bottom, and you can essentially choose which rail you want to place your tray in according to the work that you're doing and just slide it in place and then close up your door. Well, with the riser base installed completely, I just want to talk a little bit about the RA2 uh, Pro rotary attachment. Now guys, I've already done a show on the RA2, so I'm not going to get too in depth into this, um, but I will show you how it comes when you get it. Essentially what you've got, this would be the manual for it, as well as a little uh, card tell you about the different connections that you require for your machines. It's extremely well packed in here. Everything extremely secure and held well in place. Uh, we have some tools, um, cables, cords, different extension cords. This is our leveling piece that of course, as you have say a stem of a wine glass, you can use these rollers to raise it up to the level of your wine glass and have it rotate perfectly um, without skewing your engraving. Various bolts and pins, a level. This is your main rotary base. Now this base here has several ways that you can use it. You can use it just with the rollers themselves and change their distance between the top and bottom roller um, depending on the size of the glass or the cylinder that you're engraving. But if that doesn't suit you, you also have the option and the ability to use the rotary with a chuck attachment. Now these are the fingers and the jaws of the chuck as well as the gears, the chuck key, a little tape measure. And then here we have the chuck itself. Now everything is explained in the manual as far as how to install these pieces. So I'm not gonna get into the setup and how to put this together for the various um, operations that you may want to use. That's part of the experimentation of using the rotary tool and it's part of the fun of learning laser engraving. As well, we also have an end support piece here. This is a rather unique piece. I just wanna show you this one. This piece here connects on the end of our rotary base. And what this is, it's, it's not really a suction cup, but it is a spring-loaded, kind of like a suction cup. And this holds, say, um, a ball. It, it will hold a sphere, such as a ceramic Christmas ornament, we'll say. And you can use the rotary tool to hold it in place and press it up against this spring-loaded cup and that will hold it in place so that it can rotate and get engraved with Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. So uh, a very versatile tool in the RA2 Pro, it has so many functions, I'm not gonna get into them again, that's part of the fun. But what we're going to do is not this week, but uh, on next week's show, we're gonna get a little more in depth into this RA2 Pro and exactly how to use it with the X-Tool S1 fully enclosed laser and the riser base. Um, so we're gonna get more into that next week. So there you go, there is the RA2 Pro. This is what comes in the kit. Um, 
this is my second one of this particular um, rotary. I have one for my D1 Pro as well. And guys, it's just an amazing rotary from personal experience. Uh, I love it. I think it's fantastic. And there you have it. The X-Tool riser base for the S1 fully enclosed laser as well as the RA2 rotary tool. Guys, these are fantastic accessories to the S1 laser. It really expands your ability to engrave anything you want. The sky is the limit at this point in time. And that base, that riser base also with the opening front and back ends gives you an amazing ability by adding their conveyor system to that to engrave long pieces, pieces that are much longer than what the laser should really be allowed to, to uh, accommodate because it comes in through the front and out through the back. The one thing you want to remember, however, is if you are opening that to use with the conveyor belt, you'll want to get those lasering glasses on to protect your eyes. Either way, guys, these are fantastic accessories. Uh, they're a load of fun, and I hope you're going to check them out. Guys, I'm going to put all the links to this below. There's also now a new Canadian domain store if you are Canadian like myself. There is a .ca uh, domain. The link for that will be down below if you want it. Guys, you want to check this out. These things are spectacular. On next week's show, we're actually going to take it a step further and we're going to put the riser base and the RA2 into action. I'm going to show you guys how to engrave mugs, glasses, whatever, using this particular setup with the S1. So I hope you're going to join me for that. Guys, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We've got an amazing audience base here, and I'm hoping that you're going to become a part of that. Guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank Xtool for sending me out the accessories for my S1. I absolutely love them. I hope that you've enjoyed the content today, guys. I hope you're going to check these products out for yourself. If you're in the market for a laser engraver or for accessories for the engraver that you already have, check out the links below. More importantly, guys, I hope that you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.